hey guys welcome back to my channel so we have a tvs and talk here and this is the issue so if you can see i'm turning on the ignition on but still there is nothing on the display the battery is absolutely fine in this and i have checked the voltage also so this is an issue with the clock set uh, so let's check out what can we do and if it is possible let's try to fix it if i'm not able to fix it then i will eventually have to replace the lock set so first things first so if you have to remove the lock set we have to remove the front panel so you know to remove the front panel you have to unscrew these two screws over here as you can see this one and this one after unscrewing the two screws just pull this up and this is how you will have inside as you can see i have installed two custom horns here and this is a horn relay and there's much more things going on here because i have installed the projector headlight also in this bike so before getting access to the key set we have to remove the entire yellow covering the yellow panel of this bike in order to remove the yellow panel here we have to unscrew three screws from here and three screws from the opposite side and also we have to unscrew these two and there are like two hidden screws underneath this cover which i'll be showing in further and uh, once you undo all of these screws this panel can come right off So to unscrew this one, we have to just press it in like this and take it up. So I already have taken this out and there's a tab inside. Yeah, so this is the last final two screws that you have to undo. So you can see I have attached a T-rod so that it will be easy for me to unscrew it because it will be like too pretty tight. Yeah. That's one. Now let's just slide this thing off like one, two, so we have to unclip this too. So this setup is entirely for projector headlights because you can see there's a HID unit coming out and this is the HID panel and this is for the angel ring and this is for high beam and low beam and this is the parking light that we have so once you remove all the wirings that your bike have you can just remove this panel out 
so once you undo all the screws after removing all the panels you have to get access to the key set but you can see i have installed a roots security system over here which i have to move aside to get access to that key panel so let me remove this thing off so i have attached it with a zip tie and also used double sided tape which which came along with the roots uh, security system itself one Moving security system aside, this is the antenna, and this is the coupler for uh, the lock set. So I'll just unplug it. So this is from the security system, and as you can see, this is the lock set that we have. Okay, more side, yeah. So this is the lock set that we have, and it is mounted with two 8 mm bolt which we have to unscrew but before unscrewing this we have to remove the cap uh, which is right here you have to remove this cap so in order to remove it you have to just move it anti-clockwise yes so after removing your anti-clockwise just pull it out it should right come off it's a cap so don't worry we will be replacing this with a new one let's take an extension let's take an 8 mm socket so i'll be using a ratchet uh, with this to make our life easy so this is my setup so here you go so let's put in unlocking yes. This is one. This is two. So this is the old lock set that we just removed. And I think it's better to replace this instead of trying to fix it because lock set is one of the key component of every bike which gives us like high amount of security for any bikes so i don't uh, recommend you to tamper with whatever is happening with the lock set so i suggest you just replace it with the genuine one right so currently the tbs pricing has gone a little much higher uh, once the addition of new norms and stuffs so just check out what is the current uh, pricing going on with the lock set and get a genuine parts from original authorized store or from tvs itself so this is a brand new lock set which i purchased from tvs and uh, let's install this so it's just the opposite of how we removed it so just the two bolts holding it and uh, it should be attached with the frame and let's directly move into it So you have to tighten it up in a crisscross pattern to reduce the stress on the lock set as well as the frame which is getting attached to. So let's do it. So yeah, so this is the coupler. So before putting the coupler in, I just want to add this ignition wire from the security system. So if you people want to uh, have an understanding of how did I install the security system in my bike you can just drop down in the comment below so that I can make a separate video on that right into it connect it up done it's done so this was the old one that we removed 
so there's no issue with it but still since we got everything in a set we are really replacing with this uh, new one so it is like pretty easy just put it is in and rotate it clockwise back so this is a brand new key so let's put it in turn this on Ta-da! it's working perfectly fine let's start the bulb working perfectly fine now let's check the handle lock locked it yes working for great now since we have fixed this this is the, not only the only thing that you have to replace in the bike so since the key is used for unlocking the fuel cap as well as your rear boots so you have to replace this part as well this is the old key so you will get this part along with the lock set which you have to replace that i'll be showing in a minute now so once you finish installing the new lock set just put all the parts back how you did it before is just the opposite of how you removed it and uh, i'll be moving to the next step how to replace the boot and the tank cap now so the next step for uh, changing the lock set is once you get the new ignition lock key the problem is if you just replace this one you might have to use the old key for unlocking your uh, fuel cap as well as your boot space so the tvs will be giving you the entire lock set so this is the other lock set that we have along with which suits the new key and uh, we have to replace the old one with the new one so let's see how we can do this so first things first unlock your boot space and you can see four bolts 1 2 3 and 4 so unlock this four bolts and the boot space will right come off so i'm using a 10 mm socket Once you unscrew this, all the four bolts, just pull this up and uncouple these connectors. One and two. Pull that. So you can just pull thing right off. To in order to get access for this particular lock set, we have to unscrew this two grab rail also to remove this one, and we have to remove this panel, this one. and loosen this tail section to pull this off so hands for this two screws I think you have to remove this cap also. For the this is the old key set. We need the old key. So you can see there are like three screws over here. One, two, and three. So for a safety purpose, just plug something in inside this.
so just realize that to remove this one lock set we have to undo all the panels holding this yellow one so let's start with this we have i think we have enough access to that bolt let's see can we just fix it like this or we have to remove the entire panel so we have to remove this clip which is holding the lock set To remove this and just pull this thing off yeah here is the old lock set so out with the old in with the new so push this thing back This is the new C clip. So once you finish replacing this lock set, so just fit everything back. So there'll be like one screw over here and just clip locks everywhere else and just two bolts over here and this one and put the grab rail back we have a grab rail over here and once you finish everything else you're like good to go So before fixing the rest of the things back, let's check whether the petrol tank is opening properly with the new key. Opening.
hey guys uh, so we have finished installing all the panels back as you can see this is the projector headlight and we have finished the rear panel also back so actually this side so now let's have a final check done the new key so if i turn right i can open this if i turn left fuel cap is working fine now the main thing the ignition so let's put the key in turn right yes the ignition also working perfectly so as you can see i have installed a hazard light switch here so if you turn it on so all the four indicators turn on so if any of you are interested to know how have i installed this particular hazard light switch so comment down below so i'll make a separate video on installation of how to install this particular switch so more stuff coming soon guys thank you so much for watching so please do consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much